Many people believe that Jesus abolished the Mosaic Law. But contrary to this popular misconception, the New Testament is full of references to the early church keeping the seventh-day Sabbath and biblical festivals. For example, in 1 Corinthians 5, verses 7 and 8, Paul urged Christians to keep the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And in 1 Corinthians 11, he discussed the proper way to observe the Lord's Supper, which the early church kept on Passover, which falls on the 14th day of Aviv, the first month of the Hebrew calendar. At the end of 1 Corinthians, Paul mentioned another biblical festival which many people miss. 1 Corinthians 16, verse 5. I will visit you after passing through Macedonia, for I intend to pass through Macedonia, and perhaps I will stay with you or even spend the winter, so that you may help me on my journey wherever I go. For I do not want to see you now just in passing. I hope to spend some time with you, if the Lord permits. But I will stay in Ephesus until Pentecost, for a wide door for effective work has opened to me, and there are many adversaries. Most Christians probably assume that Pentecost refers to the modern observance of Whit Sunday, which occurs on the seventh Sunday after Easter. But Paul was referring to Shavuot, a biblical holy day that occurs seven weeks after the wave sheaf offering during the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Leviticus 23, verse 9. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel and say to them, When you come into the land that I give you and reap its harvest, you shall bring the sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest and he shall wave the sheaf before the Lord, so that you may be accepted. On the day after the Sabbath, the priest shall wave it. Leviticus 23, verse 15, You shall count seven full weeks from the day after the Sabbath, from the day that you brought the sheaf of the wave offering. You shall count fifty days to the day after the seventh Sabbath. Then you shall present a grain offering of new grain, to the Lord. For almost 200 years, Christians in Asia Minor used the Jewish calendar to determine the date of Passover and the Lord's Supper. But in 325 AD, the Council of Nicaea changed the religious calendar to make sure that Easter never fell on Passover, thus forever disconnecting Whit Sunday from Shavuot. God alone has the power to make time holy. He never gave the church the power to abolish or establish weekly or annual Sabbath days. The fact that Paul referred to Pentecost in 1 Corinthians 16 verse 8 shows that the early church observed Shavuot. Paul assumed that the Corinthians understood that he would be staying in Ephesus until late spring and then travel to Macedonia that summer and reach Corinth by autumn. If the Corinthians weren't keeping this biblical festival, they wouldn't understand what Paul meant. This passage is further evidence that the Torah is God's basic definition of right and wrong for all humanity. Jesus expected his disciples to teach and keep the Mosaic Law, and the apostles affirmed the authority of the Torah throughout the New Testament. So the Law of Moses is still relevant as a guide for proper Christian behavior.